So then moving on, uh, we'll be moving to our next speaker here, which is going to be uh, Ludovico uh, Bessi, which, who has been uh, with the SIMO organization for about two years now. Um, and he'll be discussing some of his recent work on uh, sci uh, accelerating scientific machine learning with automatic differentiable surrogates and the package that he's been building, which is uh, surrogates.jl. Yes, thanks, Chris. Uh, thanks for the introduction. I hope that you can see my screen now. So I will be mainly talking about uh, surrogates.jl. So first, uh, a brief introduction about me. I'm currently a second year applied mathematics student at Politecnico di Torino, Italy. I'm currently doing my master's degree thesis in uh, computer vision for autonomous driving. Um, let me minimize this. Okay. So surrogates, uh, I, I mean, I split this talk in three different parts. What is surrogates? The main features of surrogates and the future directions. So, um, what's the goal of uh, such a library? Well, we want to approximate an expensive function, let's say f. Now, this very expensive function could be, for example, the solution of uh, a system of many, many differential equations coupled or stochastic, or stochastic differential equations. Um, so, how can we approximate such a such a difficult function? Well, uh, first of all, we need to sample the space of interest. And on these points, we need to evaluate the function. So we have a couple of points, x, i, and uh, y, i. Then we need uh, to choose uh, a surrogate model and fit such a surrogate to the points that we have. And now, at this point, we already have uh, an approximation. However, we could do a step uh, after this and say, optimize the surrogate. Now, uh, when we are talking about uh, surrogate optimization, we are not just looking at uh, finding a minimum or a maximum. Uh, we also want to sample uh, the space more, looking for uh, explorations. That is, uh, maybe we want to have more samples in, a, in, an, in an area of the space uh, that it's undersampled at the moment. So this is, there is this uh, exploitation versus exploration trade-off that needs to be taken into account when we want to develop, uh, develop and use an optimization function. Um, I mean, here in this kind of applications, of course, speed is important because we have uh, um, huge systems that we want to approximate. So the speed of Julia comes in handy. Uh, the, as the title of the talk suggests, the surrogate models are actually automatically differentiable uh, using, for example, forward diff or zygote. So it's, this is great. Uh, and also, uh, the surrogates.j library is uh, under the umbrella of the scientific machine learning ecosystem in Julia and plays well with, with, such, with such an ecosystem. Uh, let's start now by giving some example. Uh, starting again from sampling. Here we have a picture, we have a sobel sample in 2D space. There are many different possible sampling techniques. And um, after we have this sampling, we can fit a model. In this example, I choose uh, the Kryging model, um, which is a just a, in this case, a 1D Gaussian process. Um, and now we have our fit, and we can see that uh, with just four points, the fit doesn't look great. and uh, we want to find the minimum here of this function, for example. Then what we can do, uh, well, we can, as I suggested before, we can call an optimization function. So after I call this function, I'm going to have more points. I'm going to evaluate my, my very expensive function f more, and I also will be looking for the minimum. And this is the output after I call uh, the expected improvement optimization function. Um, on, on this uh, on this crying here we can see uh, we have more information and uh, it picks up this steep direction and goes with it and we are able to find uh, or get close to the minimum of the function um, it's important for surrogates to be easy to use as well so here we have um, a very simple example of a, a two d two dimensional uh, surrogate model we can just uh, Call our sample, uh, evaluate uh, our objective function on the sample, and then choose a surrogate 
we pass the points, the, the bounds, and some hyperparameter that's always changing. And then if, if, we, if we want to also to optimize our, our surrogate, we can just call surrogate to optimize, passing a bunch of different parameters and uh, most importantly, the name of the, of, of the optimizer. Um, here, we have also multi-optimization in the sense that we could also have a, a surrogate uh, that approximates a function which has multi-dimensional output, like here. And not, on, not all the surrogate models uh, allow this, but for example, the radial basis functions do. And so here, here is an example. Um, and even in this case, the workflow is very uh, simple and neat. After we fit the surrogate, we can just, uh, by setting some hyperparameters, we can uh, call this RTEA algorithm, which is a, an evolutionary algorithm that uh, optimizes the surrogate. Now, moving on uh, to the derivatives and gradients, uh, very easily we could uh, just uh, have a, 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 again still another surrogate, and we can just uh, call the derivative of this uh, this surrogate. This is important because, um, for instance, many optimization techniques are not derivative free, so it's important to be able to evaluate the, the derivative and the gradient as well. As we can see here, we're using a zygote. Um, all in all, there are eight different sampling techniques, 16 different surrogate models, and seven uh, optimization methods. Uh, two and um, five are just for you know, single output optimization, and two uh, are for multi optimization. Uh, for example, here, here I, I've discussed the expected improvement method and the RTEA optimization technique, which is uh, for the multi optimization program. And it's very easy by following the docs to add new techniques. Uh, so that's good as well. Um, what, what can be improved? What, can, what else can be done to improve this library? Well, uh, apart from solving some bugs here and there, we can uh, add more methods. More, I mean, when I say more methods, I mean uh, new surrogates, but also new sampling techniques, or uh, more challenging even, more more optimization methods. Um, at the moment, I haven't, I still haven't used surrogates on a major hard, harsh problem. I've just tested it, uh, as you can see on the docs, uh, on standard functions that maybe are maybe hard to optimize or hard to fit. But uh, I'm still, say, looking for a, a big problem to test it on. Um, and also, we could um, mix this with neural ordinary differential equations. Uh, so maybe, the, for example, the physical aspects uh, are approximated, are abstract, abstracted away uh, with using a surrogate, and that would uh, accelerate uh, uh, the training of the neural ordinary differential equations. Uh, so this um, is still, still needs to be done, but all the pieces are there, I believe, to be doing this in the next future, in the near future, and hopefully I will be able to um, uh, write everything down in a neat paper. So that would be all for this talk, and thanks for joining in, and uh, I'm open to questions.